everyone i hope you will be happy and healthy in this challenging time today i will show you the multiphase modeling with the ansys and fluent in the last tutorial i had discussed about the single phase flow through nozzle or orifice i also recommend you to go through that tutorial before you start this multiphase flow problem you can find that link in the description box we are going to use similar dimension similar geometry to simulate the multiphase flow problem so let's start let's start with ansys we already have that single phase flow through nozzle ansys solution file so let's open that and we will incorporating this multiphase flow phenomena in the same geometry with similar boundary conditions so since we are using same geometry that is same dimensions what we had used in single phase flow through nozzle our geometry is is a kind of nozzle or kind of orifice kind of shape these are the geometry which we will use to simulate the multiphase flow and i will also use the same uh, geometry as well as same mesh which we already performed in the previous tutorial you can go through that to create this kind of mesh with the 9000 almost 9 to 10000 element mesh element i am using i also refine the mesh size near to that nozzle sections we are using the boundary conditions for this particular problem as a pressure inlet and pressure outlet boundary conditions remaining our wall at the specifically nozzles nozzle section i define as a nozzle wall conditions once you assign the boundary conditions we can start to solve this problem with the help of fluent so let's start that fluent once the fluent will start via setup you can set the general parameters where you can scale up or scale down your geometry right now our geometry is created in millimeter scale you can verify that with the help of scaled options since our flow is we consider as a steady flow as well as incompressible flow so based on that let's assign the physics of the problem with the help of models available multiphase models available in this multiphase model tree generally by default it is off but once you deal with the multiphase kind of flow here we are dealing with the cavitations cavitation is one kind of cavitation is the phenomena where bubble will create so to simulate this cavitation apart from this all multiphase model the mixture model is more appropriate so you choose that mixture model and keep all default setting as it is apply that mixture model so multiphase modeling will enabled in this solutions once you enable this multiphase modeling then after you start to incorporate the sub settings where you have to define your primary as well as secondary phase since we are simulating the diesel flow inside this nozzle you required to add the material that is two material that is diesel as a liquid form and diesel as a vapor form so previously we already added this diesel liquid as our material flow inside this domain so let's add another material that is the diesel vapor 
so we should add the property of that diesel vapor with the help of fluent database you just go through that fluent database and find out the diesel vapor which will provide or which will incorporate the property fluid property of that vapor the diesel vapor select that diesel vapor these are the fluid property containing by the diesel vapor phase copy that property and close this tab so now we have available that diesel vapor as well as diesel liquid two different phase is available so now we can define the primary as well as secondary phase in the phase uh, segment so generally because liquid is the continuous flow in our case so this diesel liquid we consider as a primary phase select that property from the tree uh, and then you just apply it in the same way for the secondary phase you choose the diesel vapor you can rename the diesel vapor and choose the phase material or phase property from the tree like diesel vapor the remaining default settings you keep as it is and just simply apply so once you set your primary and secondary phase you can go through phase interaction models in that phase interaction model our phase multiphase flow is actually governed by mean of cavitation mechanism so that cavitation mechanism is basically governing mechanism to generate a bubble from liquid to vapor so you just choose the cavitation mechanism from that tree to solve that cavitation phenomena the fluent having two different model that is ss model and zgb model right now we are choosing the ss model it required to fix the vapor pressure of that particular fluid right now we are using diesel so for that diesel vapor pressure is in the range of 1000 pascal so let's set that vapor pressure see in the zgb also same uh, vapor pressure is demanded once you set the cavitation mechanism and appropriate model you just keep all default setting as it is and just apply this setup for the multiphase flow currently in new version of hansis in the population balance model we have additional models which will incorporate the multi enhance the multiphase solutions so that we will discuss in the subsequent tutorial series so right now you can disable that now after specifying multiphase models let's specify the appropriate turbulence model right now we are using k epsilon standard turbulent model for our simulation problem after defining models you just set the boundary conditions first at the inlet we have pressure inlet boundary condition the value of pressure inlet we set as a 100 bar of 100 bar pressure value so you just set 100 bar in the pressure inlet condition you can also specify the turbulent intensity and hydraulic diameter at the inlet in the same way you just specify the outlet boundary condition we are using the pressure outlet boundary condition consider 30 bar as a pressure outlet condition in the previous problem it was the 40 bar when we are dealing with the single phase flow so net 70 bar of pressure difference we are considering for this multi phase flow case now once you define the boundary condition you can incorporate the gravity if you wish via operating conditions once the boundary condition is set in this segment you can close this setup and go through the solution settings where you can define the solution methods for this this particular case we are using simplex algorithm for the pressure velocity coupling for the sake of simplicity we are keeping first order upwind scheme for momentum as well as for volume fraction solutions in the monitor you can define the residual value currently for the continuity as well as momentum equation we are using this residual 
in the range of 10 raised to minus 5 you, if you wish then you can reduce that for volume fraction and turbulence it is in the range of 10 raised to minus 3 once you define the residual value you can initialize the solutions if you know the standard initialization then you can go through that otherwise with the help of hybrid solutions hybrid initializations we can also initialize the solutions in this way so <laughs> see even in the hybrid initializations the residual is in in the range of 10 raised to minus 11 once initialization is done you just set the number of iteration in the calculation segment and just run the calculations i am set maximum 1500 iteration for my solutions so once the solution will start it will indicating the residual plot for continuity equation momentum equation x y momentum k and epsilon as well as volume fraction the solution of multiphase flow is always a time consuming problem the iteration took more time than the single phase flow problem so let's wait for some time we can see in this residual table that our momentum equation will converge in the range of the residual value for that momentum equation in the range of 10 raise to minus 7 as well as for the continuity is in the range of 10 raise to minus 4 so it's fine for me you can continue this equation up to 10 raise to minus 5 or 10 raise to minus 6 for the continuity so for time being i will stop this uh, solution and let's uh, go through the re result section so this is how my solution is actually uh, converge in this way once the solution will converge let's go to the result section where we can actually derive the various contours various results like let's say pressure velocity or let's say pressure you can select the pressure to show the pressure contour it will show you in the legend the color will indicating the maximum and minimum value of that pressure across the channel so initially we have 100 bar of pressure which will suddenly drop down inside this orifice and the low pressure is observed near to this entrance that also we can verify with the help of velocity contour you just go through velocity contour near to that nozzle and entrance the large recirculation will be created so this will give you the maximum and minimum magnitude of that velocity it is almost 150 meter per second at the center of the nozzle our intention is to visualize the multiphase or cavitation bubbles so to visualize that go through the phase contour and select the vapor diesel vapor fraction so it will show you the vapor fraction or vapor, vapor formations inside that channel so we can see this contour is all about the vapor fraction of that diesel so it is clearly vis visible that at the entry of nozzle due to sudden pressure drop the vapor formation will start and entire nozzle is covered with the help of diesel vapor this is due to the pressure at the entry of nozzle will fall below saturation pressure at this particular zone so bubble will form diesel liquid will convert into diesel vapor and this is how you can find out the area where the multiphase flow will initiated 
this is called as a cavitation bubble formation inside the nozzle you can also save this contour the phase contour of this viewer fraction at desired locations you can previously just you ensure your preview and then you just save this at desired locations so this is how you can uh, trace out the cavitation bubbles form inside the nozzle or orifice via mixture model apart from mixture model we have volume fluid model and euler model to simulate the multiphase flow but definitely to simulate cavitation because it is kind of dispersed flow don't have sharp interfa interface between the liquid and vapor this model is sufficiently work you can save this file this fluent database file with the help of you just export this file and identify your location and rename this folder rename this file so right now it is a cavitation flow so just i write nozzle cavitation so for this fluent this one is case and one is data file is written in that folder so in the future you can retrieve this result via this case and data file in the desired folder so this is how we have in this previous folder in the same folder which we we are using for the single phase also in that same folder we have this case file and data file which will indicating the nozzle cavitation <coughs> so from this nozzle cavitation in future you can retrieve the results so that's it for today's session we will explore more in detail for this multiphase flow in the subsequent tutorial thank you for watching you can join my channel engineering nature you can subscribe my channel i will also post more videos on this ansys fluent in very short period of time thank you